Hey guys, so welcome back to one of my YouTube shorties. So today what I wanted to show you guys is how pre-roll and post-roll work in Pro Tools. Cool, so basically in Pro Tools, whenever we hit play, it'll either play where the cursor is, or if we have a highlighted region, it's gonna play at the start of that highlighted region, right? So I hit play here, it plays, it's pretty simple, right? So when we highlight a region like this and we hit record, it's gonna start the recording at the beginning of this highlight, right? It's not gonna start it earlier or later, it's gonna start it right at the beginning of that highlight. So sometimes that's fine, we want it to record this highlighted section, but sometimes we wanna actually hear a little bit of whatever's before that highlighted section or after that highlighted section. And that's when pre and post roll come into play. So basically there's a few ways to do this. So what I did here is I made a little intro audio section, a little outro audio section. So I'll play it for you guys really quick. Cool. So here's some intro audio. This is the start. It's just intro audio. Simple as that. And here's the outro audio that I made. And here's some outro audio. It's just my outro audio. It's super simple just to show uh, how this works. Woo, exciting. So in this example, we're saying we're pretending that we want to record the section between these two, but we want to hear this intro and this outro, right? So I can double click here and it'll highlight the region between these two. You guys might know from other videos that I've done or just in general that you can hit tab as well. Oh, I'm in tab to transient, so you want to undo that. You can hit tab to travel around to different breakpoints. So I could travel to the breakpoint for the end of the intro audio, hold shift and hit tab again to highlight the region as well. Uh, not really the topic for today, but I thought I'd show you guys that. So anyway, I have this section here highlighted. This is what I want to record. Normally when I hit record, it's just going to record this highlighted section. Nothing else. Nothing else is going to get played back or anything. So to get to pre and post roll, we can open up the transport window. So you can either hit command and then one on the numeric keypad, or you can go to window, find the transport. Where is it? My brain. Here it is. I was right on it. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so find that window. And then you can see where it says pre and post roll here. So that's where we get those values. Oh, you know what? I wanna change my main thing here in a minutes and seconds. So what you can do is you can either turn these on by clicking on them and then you get pre roll or post roll or just one of them. And when they're highlighted here, they're active. Another thing you can do is you can hit Command K and that will turn both on and off. And another thing you'll notice is if you look here in the timeline selection here, not the edit selection, but the actual timeline selection up top here, you can see, actually I have to get it over here. All right, you can see these little flags. So we have these little yellow flags. So when pre and post roll are active, those are yellow. And when they're deactive or deactivated, we have white flags. Cool, so that's how we turn it on and off. And you'll notice as I choose one or the other on this window here, that you can see that uh, that happen, the color changes, right? So that's how we know if we have it on or off. Cool, and so basically we can manually type in an amount of time for pre or post roll, which is, I hardly ever do that. What I like to do is either drag the flags around so you can make it you know, less pre-roll or more pre-roll, or what you can do is you can just option, hold option, and then click wherever you want that to start or end. Cool. So that's how we control it. So then basically what happens is I'm gonna put this active for recording and I'm just gonna record so you can kind of see how this works, right? So when I hit play, it's gonna start at this little yellow flag and then it's gonna just play back here and then it's gonna record during the actual highlighted chunk and then it's gonna play back afterwards. So let's do it. Cool, so here's some intro audio. This is the start, it's just intro audio, simple as that. And this is my inserted audio, inserted in the middle. I don't know what else to say. That's it. Some outro audio. It's just my outro audio. It's super simple, just to show uh, how this works. Cool, so that's basically it. That's how pre and post roll work. Just remember if you're then moving around here, I still have them active. So when I hit play, it's gonna start playing at the yellow flag and not where I'm actually selecting. And that can drive people crazy if they forget to deactivate those. So for example, if I hit play now, it's gonna start playing there at that yellow flag, right? So that's something to keep in mind. Just hit Command K again to undo it. Or you can open up that transport window. You can open it up here as well. But that's basically it, pre and post roll. It's great for punching in for music stuff. It's also great for like VO and dialogue stuff if you wanna just punch in a phrase. Cool, so that's all I'm thinking of now to show you for pre and post roll. I hope that was helpful. I hope you guys liked the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. I love getting extra tips and advice from you guys. I'm really trying to build a community here on this channel. So just let me know what you think in the comments below. As usual, if you like this video, please hit the like button, share my channel with your friends, subscribe to my channel. I have a Patreon. It's going to be in the description below if you want to check that out. And I hope you guys found this useful and thanks for watching.
Okay. 